Here we are, six days out to the Vancouver Pro-Am. It's the day of the Elite Physique Magazine model search, which I'll be going to in a little bit. It's this afternoon. And uh can't sleep. It's hard to sleep on contest prep sometimes. All these things running through your mind. Oh, rooster. And uh, so 5.30 in the morning, decided to get up, get my walk out of the way, and uh, then get everything done. Once everything's done and I can put my mind to rest and I'm ready to go, then I'll have a nap. That's the plan anyways. Get my walk in, do the show, later on get my workout in. That's the idea. All right, so more clips to follow. All right, it's breakfast time, so the walk's over. I actually got a bit of a little sleep in there after I got through with the walk. Had probably an hour rest. Um, woke up at 8.30 for real this time and uh, made breakfast. So here we have some eggs with uh, some seasoning and stuff in there. A little bit of the Parmesan cheese, low-calorie cheese, some chives, um, cilantro, you know, spices and uh, a little red hot and pepper on it. And then I got my espresso, my Nespresso, I love my Nespresso machine, with my, oh, did I use the car? No, I grabbed the wrong syrup. I didn't actually use the caramel. Oh no, I did use the caramel. I thought it was strawberry. This is caramel syrup and hazelnut syrup in my coffee, and both of them are zero calorie, and they're fairly thick. They just give the uh, espresso a little bit of a I don't put too much in, just enough to give it a little sweetness without any calories. So I'm going to enjoy this right now. What's going on here? Zach's pumping. Let's see the shoulders. Sick. <laughs> All right. This is the pump room without any weights. These are our pumping tools. Yeah, that and mental Jeez. abilities. And then uh, there's the stage over there. We're going to be out going out there super soon. Sick bunch of guys, huh? Yeah, all working hard. Hey everybody, um, the model search is wrapped up and uh, kind of what I expected in a way, I guess. Um, all the young guys were called out first and the older guys, there's another fellow, Lawrence, real cool guy, lots of, uh, he's just super confident on stage. Um, anyways, him and I were kind of the last to be called out at the end, really at the end of the day. Um, and, but you know, the good thing is, is my buddy, Zach, Zach Bruce got first and he got all of the kit caboodle, the prize money, the, well, it's not really money. It's, um, photography and video and stuff, but it's worth like 10 grand. So, um, congratulations to Zach. Uh, I told him, I said to him, I told him he was going to win. I just knew, uh, he's just got all the stuff that they're looking for. And, you know, he's put in all the hard work and he's, put in the time uh, posing. He's done everything, you know, you need to do. Um, and he's got the right look and a young guy. And uh, anyways, congratulations, Zach. Um, really well deserved. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I'm kind of, kind of not sure how I feel. Um, I knew going into this that, you know, because of my age, they kind of overlook you a little bit. But then part of me wonders if maybe, you know, I am not competitive anymore. Maybe I'm just getting to that age where, you know, it's not just about being older. Maybe it's just hard to be competitive at the age that I'm at with these young guys. Um, do I feel like I look, you know, less than them or not? Like from the neck down? I don't know. It's hard to tell unless I actually look at video or pictures of the stage. It's really hard to tell when you're standing side by side. But at the end of the day, I kind of wonder. I'm sitting here wondering... You know how I'm going to do in the next show when I'm competing in the open class with the younger guys. Um, is the open class going to, that's the question I'm going to be asking myself. Is it something that I want to continue pursuing? Is there even a point in doing it? Um, you know, is it just if I had my day, maybe I need to accept that and just go and, and do masters if I'm going to compete in the future. Um, and maybe I won't compete as much. Maybe I'll just downplay it a bit. I don't know. I, I'm kind of not sure. Uh, I'm going to try to keep my head positive for this show next week and continue to do everything I need to do to try to get in the best shape that I can for that. I'm not going to let this change any of that. Um, I'm going to, you know, give it my 100%. And that means staying on point with the diet, get the training in, stick with the plan. 
So that's what I'm going to do. And whatever the results are at that show, we'll deal with them when they happen. So um, that's that's all you can do at this point. Um, I'm going to go home. I'm going to have a little bit of a rest. I'm going to probably have some dinner. I'm going to have some mahi-mahi tuna with some broccoli tonight. Um, yeah. But do I get to have cheap meals? No. Not for a while. But they will be there. They will. I will have my day. All right. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Till next time.